crazy. Maybe I'm just a terrible singer and I, was, I thought I was singing the right melody. Nah. Someone come sing. Go on. It's weak clap, it. but okay. Well, I didn't have... uh, you okay. know what? This guy the is mids the, and he's the such lows a clap were... criticizer. Yeah, quick. If you want to be built up around clapping your clapping ability, don't clap in front of Paul. No way. Well, I'll you know what? Tip. But you, I lucky, would lucky I'm confident in other areas. Yeah, other you are good at other things, I will yeah. say. Welcome to the Questionable Answers Show, where we answer your questions in a questionable way. If you're tuning in for the very first time, Ryan, Paul, and I will try and answer your questions that you email in, that you Facebook us, that you tweet us, uh, Instagram us, yep. and we'll do our best to use our lack of expertise to get those mm, questions right. Mm. Questions can be anything, anything about life, and uh, we're pretty confident that we'll nail them. <laughs> History says that's not the case. <laughs> well, straight in the first question. That's All it. right, I'm what have we got? Yeah, I'm pumped. Hit us. All right, here we go. Uh, this was asked by Sarah via email. Yep. Uh, what age are you actually middle-aged? Oh, 40. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey? What? You're probably dead at Because you're probably dead at 80. Yeah. Uh... Now, I've, I've thought about this a lot. Okay. Okay, here we go. You've thought about this a lot. Yep. 20 to 23 <laughs> I, is I, early 20s. Can I just say that for a question that you have no idea about yeah. that we have not prepped on at all yeah. you've yeah. thought about you, this a lot already you literally yeah. answered the question midlife in... crisis <laughs> <laughs> okay so you're wait, planning wait how old are you? 38 yeah. uh, okay, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah so that makes sense yeah now. my dad when he was like 60 tried to tell me he was middle aged um, well no I mean the maths, the maths doesn't yeah, work out yeah like there, does really it? well so I straight confident away confident you're going to lose well, I away went to the word mid yeah. as in middle and so if we're going literal on it no, then... hang on. Back to what I said. All right. All right so okay, 20 to 23 going. is early yeah. 20s. Yeah. That's a um, very small window. But big, that's because 24 to 26 is mid 20s. Okay. Yeah, 27 yeah. to 29, late 20s. And that works for all of the decades. Mm-hmm. Middle age is from 30. <laughs> now, people don't like this, especially old people. Yep. They hate this. People over 40 hate it when I say that middle age is from 30 to 50. I what think you can have like? 20 years of middle-aged. Okay, because I was going to say, when you said middle age is 40, yeah, I was going to contradict you, because and, and, exactly, it's a band. It's middle a band. Age, middle age is a band. 30 to 50. So you're saying someone who's just turned 30 middle age. is now middle aged. Well, if he died at no, 60, that... you wouldn't go whole okay. life ahead of him, would you? But I'm not thinking... You'd go, oh, not that old, but... Uh... but... See, because uh, working in a hospital, you get someone who comes in who's 60, they're young. Yeah. In comparison to the, the sort of standard you get. Hmm. They're on the youngish age. Youngish But you don't age, see yeah. a sixty year old walking down the um the street and go, Well there's a young there's a young guy. Like, no, no one ever thinks a sixty year old's a young person. Oh, no. an eighty year old does. An eighty year old's like Do they? look at that you. guy walking. Yeah, we're young with the snapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tell you who's old. Prince yeah, Philip, well, that guy is old. Oh, oh. man, yeah, he is. Like, if you saw the royal wedding the other day... I thought I was watching Weekend at Burmese. I think, like, well, you know what, no, Pretty behind? much. I pretty would much. say that he's like 96 or 97. And is he? Yeah, he's crazy old. And just walking on his own, just had a hip replacement. Yeah, that is care. pretty awesome. Mind Not, you, I don't think he even had a Mind you, if you're going to yeah. stand the test of time, yes. I think being in the royal family is going to help you out there. Hell, Look, I mean, he, I don't think he's probably had to... Um, Work a day in his life. Well, he's, he probably hasn't had best health care. Suffered best too many food. hardships. Has yeah, he? you got someone who does everything know. for you. But still, yeah. if you get like if you get cancer, yeah, and you okay. go, oh, well, you're in the royal family. Look, just buy. You can't buy your yeah, way out. Yeah, there's some things you can't get around. But yes. I mean, he's less yeah. likely to, you know, the, your typical degenerative thing. Yeah, he's, he's going to yeah, get. Yeah, he's a bit of privilege. It's sure. a great equalizer. Um, isn't a bit it? of privilege. There's yeah. the understatement of the the royal prince has a bit of privilege. Just a little bit of privilege. Okay, so third, I say thirty to fifty no, is middle well, age. Look, so you're thinking about you're thinking about middle age as in it's the middle of your life, but I'm thinking about middle age as in the middle of your experience of life. And oh. so I reckon you, I reckon oh. the, so the first like ten to fifteen years you flush down the toilet. Oh yeah, because you, you do. barely even like <laughs> totally you don't flush do, down the toilet. You don't do anything. No. Tell me what you achieved in the first like ten years of your life. Learn to walk. That's important. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> that's that's Vital. another one. Vital. Write. Very Write, important. Yeah. Read. Read. So important. In fact, <laughs> in, in fact, I nailed my first 10 years of life <laughs> and it's gone downhill in ever fact, since. In fact, that was the okay. only 10 years I actually <laughs> ever succeeded and achieved oh, anything. Oh, that was a poor example. <laughs> that was a very <laughs> poor example. 20, okay. 20s to 30s, very weak decade. Oh, very weak. Very weak oh, decade. It's getting weaker. 10 years. 10 years wasted. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Right, yeah. Well. If you plotted like, <laughs> if you put a curve on a graph about my achievements, achievements. From productivity, birth mm. to today, mm. what can you? Oh, the first ten years is huge. <laughs> then nothing. Here's a question: What can you do? Okay, so you're 38. Mm. What have you learnt to do? In your thirties, that you couldn't do before your thirties. Oh. What's a new skill that you've you've accomplished or mastered in your thirties? Oh, no major skill. Because you just nothing. Got, you, no. Nothing. No, no, no major I don't think, skill. Nothing like significant. Uh, nothing noteworthy. Uh, let me think about it. Uh, nothing. Yeah, I've done nothing. Literally, <laughs> I didn't have time because <laughs> I had kids. Yeah. Yeah. Is that that's an achievement? I kept them alive. Ah. And they were working against me. I will oh, they say are, they are doing everything. I will say in the they were working not heavily against me. Yeah, isn't got, that interesting? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um, All right, so but no, but my point was very poorly made mm, that yeah. I feel like middle aged is more about like a stage of life rather than age. Yeah, or maybe even a mindset. Like there's some yeah. people I know, and mm. at, oh, at eighteen, have, yeah. I've gone, "You are the most middle aged person I've ever met." Oh, yeah, exactly. We've all got exactly. one of those friends, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. yeah, everyone's got one friend yeah. who is an old man. Like yeah, from the get go, every time hey, let's go out, let's do this. We're all thinking oh, the same person right now, aren't we? we, are. we Has to be in bed by eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's definitely that's definitely so true. Everyone knows from someone like that. So, like, so on the basis of that, mm. that person might be middle aged when they're thirty two, oh. and yeah. then there might be you might know a fifty year old that's like you know he's he's not middle aged he's he's living life he's doing yeah. achieve he's doing new things. Yeah. He's, this is the way that middle aged people think to get them out of middle age. Well, is hang on, can I can I. I'll let you say in a sec. And you know what? Know. It's because you're middle-aged. That's why you're thinking like this. Because you don't want to be middle-aged. You're like, oh, no, no. It's not about how long no, you live for. It's a mindset. It's not a mindset. <laughs> no, you're middle-aged. No. <laughs> Are we doing to find people as being middle-aged because of their actual biological age I think, or, yes we are I think or yes. no I haven't said the or yet haven't said the or yet it's never a compliment is it it's never a compliment oh man that's awesome that was like a super middle aged thing to do or, no one says that go here's, never here's, a compliment. here's with the or I want to hear or, or I've lost it no or is it that um, middle aged is as you said a state of mind or a life uh, situation or position or circumstance uh, I mean that's that's I, the key. That's I, the key yeah, question. There. Yeah, and if it well, I think based on the fact that the first word is middle, and the second word is age, <laughs> I think we have to go with the uh, fact you know it might be a bit of a mindset because really. there are some pretty young middle aged people. <laughs> that, is that not just people who are going through a midlife crisis? No, it's the people right, who I, have decided that things aren't fun anymore. Like things that should actually be fun. Oh, well, that that's just silly. So okay. I think we all agree so, that middle aged people are lame. Yep. and are yep. not us. Okay, so I'm good gonna, job. All right, I'm going to push it up just a little bit higher. I just banged your mic. You're going to hate me for that. Mm, your mic. Don't love it. I'm it's push a middle-aged up. thing to get annoyed about, isn't it? When you, if you touch my mic, oh, I get annoyed. Yeah. That's a middle-aged That's thing. Not getting enough sleep, middle-aged. <laughs> Complaining about not enough sleep. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm happy yeah. with that. We'll leave Excellent. it. Excellent. All, All right. right. Well, next question is emailed in from Samuel, and the question is, why do feet smell? Samuel's been sniffing some feet. It's a solid question because, mm, like, well, um, you know what? My hand, I, my hand has never smelt. I'm gonna uh, smell your hand right now. Oh, I don't want to. Like, if <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that going, this is gonna be super weird. No. This oh, is weird. You, and know what, you know what I instantly thought? <laughs> oh, geez, I hope my hand doesn't smell. <laughs> Okay. And that's that also my, that's what I thought too, and that's thought. why I bailed out. Well, I was playing guitar earlier, and you know when you um, yeah, the strings the, the, the get a bit. strings and yeah. on your fingers yeah. smell like kind of funky, and I was like, yeah. actually, I think my hand probably. Do you know what would have been amazing though is if I smelt your hand and went, "Have you been playing guitar?" <laughs> you wouldn't nail it. Yeah, really? you would have oh, got it. Yeah, so yeah. I, I still can't do it because whenever someone goes, "Hey, smell this," you always instantly go, "Ooh." Yeah, it's never. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know no. what? I cannot wait to find out what this smells like. You know, <laughs> this thing that you're asking me to smell. No, Worst is when people go, good. "Is this milk off?" And they give it to you to smell. Like, oh, of course yeah. it is. It, it course is. It, it just is. Just throw it. That's in the why bin. you I think it's off when you smell okay, it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a story. Okay, it's, it's gonna shame my wife a little bit, but okay. she'll, she'll be okay with it. Um, <laughs> so she's gonna shame your wife a bit. Yeah, but she, she's okay with it. She's pretty chill. She'll um she'll she got me with this many times. She'll be like, "Do you smell gas?" Can you smell? And you know when you're like, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. and so I'll take a really big whiff because I really want to like. Crap! Yeah. There's like yeah. gas leaking. I need to know. She's yeah. just dropped her guts right next to me. Oh, <laughs> that is That's good. a sure way to get someone to really inhale your. Yeah, get, that your, is yeah, rough. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so why do feet smell though? So feet, we all agree feet. Feet, feet do are, smell. Feet are probably. Well, um, I'll, I'm going to go with. Let me think about body parts. I'm going to go top know, three smelliest body parts. I reckon I know what it is. I've got some good theories. I think it's. I think anything that smells. It's, mm-hmm. it's bacteria. No, mm-hmm. that's too literal. What? 
<laughs> well, well, that's, I'm sorry. Well, that's something. That's just saying. That's that's that is a function of facts. That <laughs> they're literal. That fa- like if you're gonna no, start. No, you know I mean, like, why are you going? You, why are you going to bacteria? I feel like you've gotten ahead of yourself. Why is the bacteria so, uh, there? Okay, so your feet. You know, slow, down. Feet, feet, slow down. Slow down. Sorry, you got to crawl before you walk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. no, you got I'll that be, one. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll you're still the first ten years of your answering I'll, I'll this question. I'll change. That's so, why I'm getting so much done. So your feet are in contact with the ground all the time. The ground is dirty. I'm oh, not this again. Oh, and then it, we're grounded. And then, and therefore, no. your bacteria. Hey, I'm leading to your bacteria. You're right, but you're wrong because you're talking I'm about right, you're, you're, you're talking about a, a no shoes situation. Can it be my turn? My turn. Oh, my turn. I feel like I can't say no. Okay, good. <laughs> I think that it's because your feet generally are covered up all the time. Yeah, that's what it is. And and what you're doing is you're creating this warm, moist environment. Mm, I hate the word moist. Definitely and, a word we ban. And it's yeah, definitely that's, that's, it's can we definitely just... an environment that's conducive mm-hmm. to odor. Good use of conducive, though. Thank you. Yeah, excellent. But um, it felt like a moist word yeah, when you said it. Yeah, it is a... Um, <laughs> yeah, it, that's what it is. It's a bacteria thing. Like, what I'm picturing now is like... Because people don't wear shoes, their feet won't smell. Your foot is like the, like, I don't know, South yeah. American jungle. All right? uh, I'm going to push you know, back on that. it's humid... It's um. If you're is not, no one else picturing South America. No, American I'm with you on South American jungle. Like we're like on the Amazon, but it's our feet. It's the it's Vietnamese that jungle would have also been good. Yeah, it's that kind of environment in under your sock, right? Yeah. It's always a little damp. It's yeah. very humid. Yeah. Very humid. Okay. Uh, it's hot. Oh. Okay. Uh, there are there are things growing that you don't really know what they are. Like toe jam. Like toe jam. What is toe jam? What? Right. Don't Why want to is talk it about called it. jam? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. I is don't it, know. Is it just fluff? Because that's I don't know. Is toe jam when you got fluff between your toes from your socks, or is it like something totally different to that? I, I think don't it's, know. I think it's bacteria. It's like athlete. <laughs> yeah, athlete's foot. That's it's what like, it is. For some reason, yeah. bacteria smells terrible. Mm. Well, it's, for some reason, it's the breakdown. Of hey, is that is that what rotting. cheese is? You know yeah. how cheese smells really yeah. really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Cheese tastes amazing though. It um, tastes okay. Oh. That's a, Whoa, oh, amazing. that is, you're underselling cheese. Not amazing. To all our listeners who haven't eaten cheese before, try it. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly. What, what, what it's you not start amazing. You, you wouldn't sit cheese? down, no, you wouldn't no. sit down well, with a block of cheese and just start going oh, on it. Okay, well, it's here's what I used to do. Like, I used chocolate to, you would, because chocolate's amazing. What about grated cheese? Well, no, chocolate's cheese, just sugar. Sugar's amazing. What, what yes, about it is. freshly grated cheese? Oh, i smash a bowl of that. Really? Oh, yeah. You need a whole bowl Oh, I used to, always. That's an odd thing to do. Is it, though? I think. Okay, is it? A whole bowl of cheese just without, crack, whole bowl. without crackers? I mean, I like cheese. No, cheese, no. cheese crackers, is, what's the point? Cheese is a condiment it's you just, put on top of things. Yeah, it's, you don't eat it. You don't get like a big block of block tasty of or, or something and just chew into it oh, like an animal. It's an animal thing to do. What about like a cheese stick? <laughs> you, 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 you would do it with a stick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're telling me that depending on the shape of it, it's, <laughs> it's whether it's allowed or not. Yes. Block versus stick. stick. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> what about a wedge? Uh, wedge I'll allow. I will on not a allow a wedge. On a cracker. <laughs> yeah, on so a cracker, he's putting sir? it on a cracker. On a cracker, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, good. Well, I'm glad we had this chat. <laughs> okay. So, so the answer's bacteria. I think we uh, busted that one already. Like, it's covered. Here's the other thing as well, is if your hands smell, yeah. you notice it because it's close. It's proximity to your... Oh, your, yeah, okay. So you smell. So therefore, you wash your hands. Anytime your hands smell a little bit... Oh, immediately you wash them. Wash them. Like, okay, call example, and also, you can't stop smelling it. Because you go, what is that smell on my hands? You yeah. go, why oh, do you keep oh, checking it? And so it's not going to change on its own. Then you wash it with a lot of soap. Yeah. Whereas your feet, too far away. Don't Doesn't matter. That's and that right. reminds us... That, you know that what? When you're, in the shower, stuff, yeah. and when you're in the shower and you're soaping up, yeah. all that stuff's going to run down on your feet anyway. 100%. What's the point of going down there it's, and actually it's a, scrubbing it? It's a passive it? cleaning system. Yeah, yeah look, it's, yeah. you're standing in soapy water the whole time. It's clean. Yep. All right. That's it. Next one. Sorted. All right. Final question for the episode. Uh, you've already read it. I saw it on the screen. That's my job to read it. Oh, look, I can see the screen. I feel like I should be the one introducing the question. Right now, it's only us that know it. <laughs> okay, this was emailed in from Adam, and it is how do magnets work? Oh, mate, Adam, I think I know this. <laughs> this is really. Do you really? Think a little you know bit. How no, I don't work? think a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Oh. Adam's Adam's got a difficult question. I um, and we're going to have okay. some fun here. So here's what I know. Okay. Good. I consider myself to be a little bit of a quantum physicist. So you know about yourself. So so far, what you know is about yourself. How much? Percentage-wise, how much? Yeah. One percent. <laughs> that's okay. That's, so, that's still too high. No, so. no, he, no, he didn't oversell it. He said a little no, bit of an little little physicist. Bit. What qualifications no, do you have? I've watched stacks of YouTube docos. Do you have like a patch that says one percenter? <laughs> <laughs> a little picture of space. Yeah. Um, just a picture of nothing. Yeah. Um, is, this, so, is this because of your obsession with Elon Musk? No, 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 no. This goes back beyond that. This goes m- well beyond that. No, because okay. you're a bit um, of an electric car. Yeah, like a bit, no, of, a bit, bit of a Tesla bandit. Yeah. So no, nothing to do with that. Okay. Um, okay. We'll go. Come on. Uh, wow, well, us with your okay. with your one percent of knowledge. So, 
It's an electron thing. Wow. You put, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> what is an electron? Okay, so okay, right, for the record, I really don't know how magnets work, but here's I've got a feeling. Okay. Yep. That I'm willing to go with it if it's a feeling. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me think about this. Um, atoms. You've got protons, neutron, possibly only one, Decepticons. Or, or, or some, or some. You got. Okay. Here's what you do, at, right? They're, they're off the magnet yeah, with their little yeah. swords okay, you've and got guns. Al- you've got Look, al- all I know is that they're definitely negative. Right. Whatever they you, are. You've got <laughs> electrons and they can be positively or negatively charged, right? Yeah. And they spin around all over the place. Do you mean neutrons? Uh, but what happens Electrons is, are always negative. I don't know what I'm talking about. Right. Yeah, okay, cool. Are okay. they always negative? Hang on, can yeah, you stop? Because that's where you got protons. I would like protons to defer to the person who knows 2% about oh, this information. Oh, 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 I take your 1% and I raise it another one. Protons, oh, electrons are always negative, protons yep. are always positive? Yep, correct. Well, that makes it easier. And that's that's how, like, uh, so oh, I'm going back to high school chemistry and stuff like that. But one wants to hang out with the other one, right? Yeah, yeah, they hang out together. So that's what's happening in Magnet. But they don't like each other, like themselves. They don't like themselves. Because they repel each other. Oh, themselves. that's all you do. Right. You push all the electrons on one side. Is it a plus and a negative? Here it is. Thing, okay. Right? No, I'm there. Okay. You push all the all you push all the electrons right, on one side. People. Yeah. Three <laughs> percent. Okay. Push all the electrons, get a bit of metal, push all the electrons on one side, push all the protons on another side, mm. and now that metal is now magnetized. Now if you get two of those, you push them together. If it's like if it's electron side on the electron side, that they wouldn't they won't have a bar of it because they hate each other. How do you source these things? I don't know. Like like but no, but then seriously. if you spin it, if you spin it and you've got all the protons on one side, they are like dying to hang out with the electrons and that's when they stick together <laughs> on the other bit. You reckon that's it? No. I, I, I stopped listening because I'm just trying to nah, work out. How some... do you get how do you get these new what are they called again? Protons Protons and, and electrons. Yeah, so where do you get them? Well from? you can magnetize how, a normal well, bit of metal. Yes from? you can. You can how? magnetize a normal bit how? of metal, right? What do you do? You shoot like you get a magnet. No, get a magnet. Get a screw or, or just like some piece of metal, nail yeah. or whatever, and you rub a magnet on it. Now and all of the tiny gotta, little strike it. Got to, oh, oh, you just go one, one direction. Way. It's it in like one transfers direction. across. Like so yeah, because you get the little shades of magnet, like um, little shards of. Yeah, oh. you're thinking of iron filings. Yes, yeah, iron filings. That's different yeah, magnets. Yeah, but they get <laughs> magnetized. So <laughs> what you're doing is you're pushing all the electrons to go one way. Yeah. And pushing all the protons. Where do you get corralling them? Like where are they sourced? Where do you get them? So they're in everything. Yeah. But how do you like the force? How yeah, do you it's like the force? How do you get them to all locate into one area? How do you because do... you push them with a magnet. But how do... no, but you're creating the magnet. Oh, how did the first? <laughs> magnet... How does it work though? No, no, that's no, not the yeah, question. Yeah, the question we... is, how does it work? Yeah. Like but why how... does it? Essentially, he's saying when a plumber is dying for business and sticks his little magnet in my letter box, why <laughs> does that thing stick to my fridge? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it all comes back to the plumber who's dying for some business. That's so true. Why does every plumber... Why is it the only industry where magnets are like the way to go? I don't know. But tell you what, it works. Because yeah. I, I reckon like, if your toilet doesn't work, it's an immediate emergency. That's and you don't, You will not go to Google, whatever you go. Quickly, quickly, call the plumber. That's you right. Go, I saw the, some guy's fridge. face on my fridge for like yeah. the last 15 call years. Him. Stop talking about it, call him. But the yeah. problem is you've got to leave whatever the situation is, that, whether it's in the toilet or something like that. It's flowing out. You're going to have to run to your fridge well, and find the magnet. Yeah, but that's quicker than going to Google. It is you true. Or yeah. the yellow pages. Because it was before the yellow pages as well, flipping through that. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now they're wet. Oh, yeah. It's soaking poo water. You're like, if you're oh. listening to this on the podcast, you need to check out the YouTube episode for, for Ryan uh, uh, flicking through the yellow pages. It's, just, it's, it's, a quite a, it's quite a thing. Um, all right, so that's what... So you, you get... They work because all the electrons are, are, are stuck on one side of this bit of metal. Mm-hmm. And so um, it's dying to hang out with the protons. Mm. Why? Oh, that's, that's where... No, no one knows. I think no one knows. Does no one know or do you just not know? No, no. So when you get down right down to the quantum okay. um, the quantum no level, knows. people don't really know why things you know happen how, the way they are. You know how they repel themselves from themselves? <laughs> yeah, they don't want to hang out with each other. Why? Well, like... No, well, sorry. Because they just don't. We don't know. They okay. don't want to hang out with each other. Yeah, they, they don't get along, man. There's, there's a lot of complicated history there. Do you yeah. ever do the thing where you try and like force together... Um, magnets that don't like the yeah. wrong way just because yeah. you it turns out that like, no matter how hard you push you can't change the fundament- feels, fundamentals of the universe it feels yeah. mad though mm. like the way it like oh it's cool yeah, yeah. or even the that iron filings kid. under the table yeah, you, you, doing those you can, oh, make, yeah. you can yeah. make your kids think you're a magician by doing that <laughs> yeah they have no clue how you're so doing such magic so easy to impress magic. kids isn't it yeah they're stupid so yeah. easy yeah. Oh yeah. Although yeah. in the first ten years of their life, we know that they oh they got a lot done. They're learning a lot, done. but we're also hindering that. Great. Look, I'm a magician. Oh, crazy science. Santa uh, Claus is real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got anything more to that? To that? I think um, no. Nah, I mean, that's it. it. 
That's it. Did we get to the answer? Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty Someone, sure that we got to. Uh, we the got answer to, if you feel like we got there. Uh, we got to one percent of the answer, uh, or at least the one percent. Nah, we got there. We got the whole way there. Hundred percent on. You, okay, here's the summary. Go. Get all the electrons to hang out in one area. Yep. And then they're just dying to uh, to stick to metal or not to stick to metal. And then yeah. they put it on a little piece of plastic and, then they, put and they put it in your letterbox box. and you put it on your fridge. Yep. Problem That's solved. It. Perfect. All, all right. right, done. All right, guys, there we go. That's us for another episode. Thanks for listening. Three questions there. We completely nailed them. Too yeah. Easy. But if you want to know what the real answer is, don't forget to go to our website. Uh, you can find that in the, the link, at least, in the show notes, and it'll take you there. Also, if you've got any questions you want us to answer, or at least try our best to give a crack at it. Facts. Then, facts? Yeah. Then make sure you put them on the website as well, and we'll get them into our next show. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe it wherever you listen to your podcast. Or if you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, but also hit the little bell icon so that you can get any notifications. What does that do? The bell. Or gives you notifications when we drop a new episode. Oh. You don't. You okay. obviously don't, you don't do that. that no, I don't press the bell. You need to go and do that okay. straight away. Yeah. yeah. All right. Off you go. Catch you next time. Thank you. See ya.